Welcome to Site Tech Inner Mountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, we're going to continue on with infill design, but we're going to change it this time. Instead of doing a flat pad, we're going to create a slope. Now, in the slope has two different options. There's taking the machine to two different points physically and creating that point between point to point, or there's point and direction and bearing. I'll show you both ways. Right off the bat, this is a step one of four. What it's asking at the beginning is, where is my first point that you wanna actually create to make this? I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna to touch the ground where I want. We'll use the center focus point. You hit here and it will auto populate the northern easting and elevation of that point where the middle of the bucket is. Now on the next option is where it splits between the two different options. You've got two point, Point and direction. We're going to stay on two point for this video and we will also show point and direction in this video after this. Once I go to that second point, I can go ahead and create that. I want to go from here to there. So we'll hit here one more time and it auto populates the northern easting and elevation for that second point. So now on step three, as we hit next, it's going to ask me, what do I want to do with that point to point? Do I want to leave it at the elevation changes that I had from point to point? Or do I want to break it and make a road out of it? Um, do I want to crown it up or down? Do I want to make it either way? So you can break it in dual, like it says here, or you can just leave it as a single slope. You also can just leave it at zero and it won't make any difference. But just to show you, we will go ahead and put in a 4% minus on one side and a 4% minus on the other side. Once we've broke it both ways to make the center line the crown, we'll go ahead and hit next. And we'll go ahead and give it a name as the uh, two point road. Once we've done that, we can hit apply and you'll see that it saves that as a new design for us, two point road. We can hit select. Now we can load that as the design that I want to run off. And now you can see that I've got an alignment. The blue line was a line that was created from point to point, and it does extend out beyond the two different points, but it gives us an alignment. So since I did build that a little bit to the side for a reason, I'm gonna show you how now I can go back over and get lined up on that line, and I can use my green crosshairs also to help line up on that. So you can physically look at the body of the machine to get lined up on it. But you can also use those green crosshairs. So now I have a perfect alignment down the middle with the green crosshairs. I can reach out and I can start cutting. I can put in vertical offsets if I had them and you can see that it broke it side to side. Now the other option is point and direction. So in order to create one of those, you need to know what the direction of the machine is already going. And the way you would use this is let's say that I need to fill in a ravine or I need to cut a slope, but I can't physically take the machine to a, the, the second spot. What you can do here is you can set down and bench and then give it a, a heading, but you need to know what that is first. So the way you gain that information is in your bottom ribbon down here. If you touch and hold on that, you can go into text ribbon and we can configure this. So I'm gonna go to the edit button and I'm gonna go down almost to the very bottom and I'm gonna find what's called the heading. So if I turn on heading right here and hit apply, I can move it where I need to, but in this case, I don't need it in my view there. I'll just leave it in the list and I'll hit apply. And at the very bottom here, you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five boxes. So it's showing the white ones are the ones that are showing right now. And I have two black ones to the side. So I can simply swipe to the right. So currently right now, if I line up with the housing in my tracks and set down, I'm at 10 degrees. It doesn't really matter if it's a north or a south. 
it's really just wherever the machine is facing for your heading. So that's 52. What we'll do is set down at the 10%. I know that's where I want to do my heading. And we're going to go back into the shovel with the gear, go to job setup. And I'm going to go back into the black box to create another infill design. And I'm going to do slope one more time. Now it starts right back over where we were at. It wants me to create my first point which I'm gonna use right where it's at right now, hit here. But now I don't physically have to take the machine to the second spot. I can hit next and I can change this slope type from two point to point and direction. Now it asks me, okay, what direction do you want? And I know from my previous screens that I want 10 degrees. That's what I'm headed at. Now it's asking what type of percentage do I want to cut at? I'm gonna put in there, maybe just so it's pretty aggressive on the screen so it shows, we'll put a 15%. Uh, a now the plus or minus is gonna take it which way you want it to go. We'll go ahead and hit that. So point direction, 10 degrees, 15% slope from there. I'm gonna hit next. And this does allow me to do the exact same thing for the break to the side of it. So I'm not gonna leave, I'm not gonna change any of those, we'll leave them flat. I'm gonna hit next and it'll allow me to name it. So we'll just call this the 15% road, so we know what's what. We'll hit apply. Now I have that to select as a design and I will load it. So from here, we will change this to the main fall so you can see what it's doing to profile. So now it built it up, up to up in front of me and coming down below me. So now I can just start digging and it's gonna progressively go 15% up in front of me. So that's using the point and direction option in infill design along with the two point. So this is a site tech intermountain earthworks training video. Thank you for watching.